Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Maxwell Faulkner, and welcome in to Are You Kidding Me? here on the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast. Are you kidding me, Keith Olbermann? Woo-wee! Are we in for a real treat today, everybody? Well, the biggest jackass in sports commentary, Keith Olbermann, well, he's at it again, everybody! Now, I know I'm a little biased to not liking this guy since I wrote a whole segment on why Keith Olbermann is one of the worst people in sports, but this guy just can't keep his mouth shut. So I have to, I just have to come back and I have to comment on what he said on X. So on X, where Keith Olbermann tends to spend all his time while filming his lame-ass podcast in the basement of his Nana's house... He called out some Cardinals players after they appeared to perform a Trump home run celebration. Here's that video. Uh, you know, check it out. Tell me wh- how you feel about it. So if we all didn't know when you live under a rock or in a cave with bears, because apparently a lot of hippies like to do shit like that these days, uh, the front runner for president of the United States, Donald Trump, was shot a couple Saturdays ago at a rally. Now, the man who I won't name on this podcast because he's just a big piece of shit, uh, almost like Keith Oberman, except Keith at least didn't try to physically kill anyone. Not that I'm aware of or anything. I mean, who knows? Who knows these days? But that piece of shit tried to assassinate Donald Trump, but he failed. So people are pissed that this happened, and Trump's followers and voters are standing up and are not afraid to show it anymore. Considering the media and the Biden administration has been pushing that if you're a Trump voter, you are a racist, misogynist, homophobe, white supremacist, xenophobe, and oh, (laughs) who can forget, Nazis? Finally, people aren't afraid to stand up for their morals and their values, no matter what the other side will try to do to them. So, back to the Cardinals players. So after these Cardinals players supposedly performed a Trump home run celebration, Keith Oberman, mm, he licked his lips. He wiped the Cheeto grease from his fingers on his white t-shirt, and he began tweeting away like he always does. This is what he said, everybody. Attention at MLB, ban these guys from baseball for life, confiscate the Cardinals franchise, and implode the stadium. He then continued with saying, Cardinals equals Trump Nazis. Stick to sports, fuck the Cardinals, and America has had enough with this shit. Woo! (laughs) A lot to talk about here, huh? You know, my first question is, I wonder who Keith Olbermann is voting for, hmm? Oh man, that's a coin flip. So I'm gonna make this as quick as possible because this man really isn't worth anyone's time and the fact that I'm talking about him right now probably gets him all jittery and with excitement and butterflies in his stomach because someone is actually giving him attention. Let's go to the tweet. Keith said, attention MLB, ban these guys from baseball for life. Okay, Keith Olbermann. So because these players have a different opinion on who they want to vote for than you do, you believe they should be canceled and fired from their job, huh? Hmm. Well, considering you've been fired from every newscasting station you have ever worked for, I don't think the Cardinals organization is going to listen to a loser. And considering the Cardinals are winners, I mean, you know, they won 11 World Series and 23 league pennants, I don't think a loser will convince them to change their minds. Overman also said, confiscate the Cardinals franchise and implode the stadium. Wow, (laughs) collapse or blow up the stadium because a couple players have morals and values that relate to the Republican Party, huh? (laughs) Okay, you know... I guess blowing up and destroying stadiums makes sense in your eyes, considering you voted for an administration that two wars started under. Oh, and let's not forget about China about to invade Taiwan. So basically three. Uh, How many wars were started when Trump was president? Oh, I believe that's a big goose egg, Keith. 
a big goose egg, and they also defeated ISIS, if I'm not mistaken. So, okay, but it all makes sense that you're all for bombing things. So good for you, Keith. Keith then said, Cardinals equals Trump Nazis. Whoa, Keith. Oh, geez, you caught them. You found them out. Instead of playing baseball and making millions of dollars to hit a ball with a bat, these players are burning millions of Jews in concentration camps and trying to take over Europe. Republican voters haven't killed anyone from Trump telling them to, nor has Trump ever ordered any of his voters to kill people for him. This is where all the libs yell, oh, January 6th, January 6th. Yeah, uh, you know, in case you want to actually find out the facts, one person died that day, and it was a Trump voter who was shot by a cop. Let alone, Trump never said, go kill Jews, you fucking idiot. Keith Olbermann, <laughs> he has the worst case of Trump derangement syndrome, I swear. I swear. In fact, it's so bad that when Keith sees an orange at the local grocery store, he pretends it's Trump's head and punches it while imaging the juice dripping to the floor is Trump's blood dripping from his head from the assassination attempt actually being successful. Oh, well, sadly, Keith, for you, that's just a wet dream where your nana has to wash your feety pajamas night after night. Sorry, you sick bastard. Moving back to his tweet, Oberman said, stick to sports. This, I actually agree with him. I wish sports did not have any politics in it so we can stay focused on the game without hearing idiots like Keith Oberman state his opinions about players he doesn't even know. But Keith, since you're bringing this up, where were you when Colin Kaepernick started kneeling during the national anthem when he was benched for sucking as a quarterback? Where were you when Megan Rapino and Team USA Women's Soccer started kneeling for equal pay with no one watching them on TV to bring them the revenue they wanted so they can make more money? Where were you when the NBA and WNBA were kneeling during the national anthem for Black Lives Matter? Where were you when the MLB took away the Atlanta Braves All-Star Game when Georgia signed into law that you need an ID to vote? Nah, nah, none of these needed to be tweeted about apparently because you're all for it. So when things go your way, Keith, everything is great. But when things don't go your way, Nazis are destroying America. Huh, interesting thought process. Keith, maybe if you left your Mima's basement and got some sun every once in a while, you'd understand that Nazis are not swarming your Nana's house. Keith then said, fuck the Cardinals. Oh, Keith, what a big boy using big boy words. Nothing like a liberal yelling and swearing in order to get a point across. When you put your big boy pants on, Keith, uh, do you buckle suspenders or does Nana tighten your belt for you? Finally, Keith Oberman said, America has had enough of this shit. Ooh, again, a big boy using a big boy word. You want to know something, Keith? You want to know what America is actually sick of? America is sick of sexuality being taught to children in schools. They're sick of kids being told they can be the opposite sex and cut off their penises or remove their breasts. They're tired of schools not telling the parents about what's going on with their child and claiming it's teacher-student confidentiality. They're tired of seeing black kids being taught why they will always be oppressed because of white people. They are tired of men playing and beating women in sports. They are tired of millions of illegal immigrants coming into their country, murdering and raping our women citizens. They are tired of being called racist, homophobes, transphobes, xenophobes, Nazis, and whatever the hell else you can pull out of your ass when you try to make people feel inferior to you because they have a different opinion than you. They are tired of high gas, food, rent, and mortgage prices. They are tired of feeling unsafe because of criminals roaming the streets doing whatever the hell they want with no backlash and being, if they are arrested, being put right back out on the streets. 
They are especially tired of being called fascists when the Democrats are the ones trying to, well, for the first time in American history, everyone, to jail their political opponent in this upcoming election. Finally, Keith, America is tired of you because, once again, you were fired from every newscasting station you were ever a part of to the point where all you can do now is have a podcast down in the basement while your nana makes you pizza bagels for lunch. Whenever you decide to come out from the basement, take a shower, brush your teeth, and dress like a man that isn't preparing for his first day of elementary school, maybe then a newscasting station will hire you again. But until then, Keith Oberman, the sooner you stop letting your ass speak for you, the sooner we as the people of America will stop thinking you're such an asshole. Oh, look at me. I can use a big boy word too.